Hello everyone and welcome back to fifth grade math for today. We are on day three. All right, let's get started. So number one says 20 times 10 to the third power. Wow, that's a mouthful. What does that mean, right? So uh, remember that you have 10 is your base number and three is your exponent. That three is telling you how many times to multiply your base number by itself. So let's write that out and see what that looks like. So 10 to the third power is actually 10 times 10 times 10. Okay, 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. So we had to get that out of the way. We needed to know what 10 to the third power was. And 10 to the third power is 1,000. So now we can solve this problem. All right, so I'm gonna write out, we have 20 times 1,000. Um, so let's start by um, looking at the two. Two multiplied by one is two. And we're gonna just add all of these zeros down here. So we have one, two, three, four. And don't forget your comma, so cha-cha-cha comma that comma goes right there so our answer to 20 times 10 to the third power is 20,000. very good let's move on wow we have another fraction problem just like yesterday only this one is addition so you're going to follow the same steps only we're going to add after we rename those fractions so let's write it out i like to do four square to organize my thinking so I have two to the fourth power plus three to the eighth power. Let's go ahead and draw our four square. All right, so looking at the denominators again, I have four and I have eight. So let's write those out. So I have four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. I'm gonna stop right there. If I need more, I'll go further later. Um, let's go to eight. So we have eight, 16, and 24. What is your least common denominator or your LCD? Well, between these two um, numbers here, the multiples of these two numbers, I have eight is the same and that's the least number for both. So eight is my least common denominator. Um, so looking back at my fractions, which one do I need to change? Two fourths, so let's do that. So two fourths, what multiplied by four gives me eight? That's right, multiply it by two. Um, and so because I'm doing that with my denominator, I'm also going to do that to my numerator. Okay, and that gives me two times two is four, and four times two is eight. We're not done yet. We're almost done, so bear with me. So that was just this number here. We just renamed it. So we have four eighths. I'm just gonna bring a plus sign down here to not forget that I am adding. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that next fraction, which is three eighths. Sorry, my handwriting is kind of horrible. Um, sorry, four plus three is seven. And my denominator stays the same. So my answer over here is seven eighths. All right, let's move on to the next question. It says, write the equation for the following statement. Here we go, let's listen and we're gonna write the equation. So Reed is three years old. All right, Reed is three. Okay, let me erase that and write it a little better. Okay, so Reed is three years old. His sister is four times older. So four times, so three times four, that's it, right? So three times four, because now it says, how old is Reed's sister? So because Reed's sister is four times Reed's age, which is three, we're just multiplying and that is 12. All right, the next um, and last question for today says to round five and 67 hundredths to the nearest tenths place. Well, first, remember, if you have your decimal, I have three spaces, right? Um, this is my tenths place, 
Okay, so I'm just going to write a th. This is my hundredths place. I'm going to write a h t h s, right? Hundredths place. And this is my thousandths, uh, thousandths place. If that makes sense. Um, it looks the same as this one, so I'm going to make this tenths, tenths. Okay, we'll go over this here uh, soon in a couple of chapters, so bear with me. Uh, so we have our tenths, right? We have your tenths place, your hundredths place, and your thousandths place. Write it different ways so you can see it. Uh, we're rounding to the tenths place. So five and sixty-seven hundredths, which number is in the tenths place? You need to know that first. So again, tenths, hundredths, thousands. The six is in my tenths place. I like to underline the number that the question is asking for, and then I'm going to circle that number there to the right. So remember your rules um, when you're rounding. So four or less. So if it's four or less, right, that number, you're going to let it rest. It's going to stay the same, right? Five or more you're gonna raise the score, right? That number is gonna go up. So looking again at six, that's in my tenths place. We're looking at the seven. Is the seven bigger than four or smaller than four? Okay, you should have said bigger. So because it is bigger or larger, we are going to round up, right? It's five or more, raise the score. So that six is going to change to a seven. And that's it. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.